Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your weekly reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the week of June 19th through the 25th. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. Please give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. The sign with the most likes and the sign with the most views will get a bonus live reading with me either this by the end of this week or... The next i will be doing a few lives a couple times a week so you want to stay tuned to that make sure that you subscribe with your notifications turned on i will also have your july monthly reading out soon as well as your summer love reading you don't want to miss those guys thank you so much once again don't forget to give it a thumbs up let's see what you've got for the week ahead page of cups knight of swords ace of swords knight of wands the devil and the two of wands now the devil card is the only major arcana for this week so far i will pull clarifiers so this could be in terms of toxic habits toxic relationships very unhealthy attachments to certain people places things situations uh i'm hearing like self-sabotage energy engaging in you know connections relationships that really aren't in your best interest or for your highest good i also hear what i heard was you're going up against a devil right like not literally but figuratively someone who can be the like devil energy or this could be a capricorn in your life uh aries leo sagittarius as well aquarius libra um aquarius libra gemini and this is Pisces energy for me, Page of Cups. It could also be any other water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There's a lot of emotional energy here in terms of wanting to make amends, wanting to clear the air, wanting to just let bygones be bygones. And I feel like they're like you go through the motions, right? I definitely feel that whoever this is with, whether it's a situation or a relationship or for some of you, a situationship, I just feel that sometimes you don't feel seen, you don't feel heard, you feel a bit disrespected. And and I'm putting it nicely when I say that because I don't know why you're you would still entertain somebody who um, is disrespectful to you, who uh, is disrespectful of you, your heart, your time, your love, your energy, what you bring to the table. Uh, I do feel like this person knows how to take from you, okay? Whatever it is that they have to gain from here. Whatever this situation, they know how to take from you. It could be your peace of mind. It could be your time, your love, your generosity, your money, right? They could be taking advantage of you. They, Whatever it may be, I feel like you have specific um, idea of what you want for your future. You've made it known. You've said it. I feel like if this is with a specific partner that you're with, it's like you've said it so many times and they still act like they didn't hear shit, right? It's like they like this is how I'm seeing it. You're just you've if you've been with someone for quite some time or you have a history together, like the communication comes in and you're very very clear about a specific long-term goal outcome what you want for your future in a relationship in business in friendship and love right out of a specific situation or scenario right because we all have we are all on our journeys at different times however i feel like this person kind of mm, what's the word placates right like yes hun yes babe i'm listening don't worry yeah i totally see that too yeah and it's like they kind of go along with it and they dream with you so it's like this very dreamy energy at times but i feel that they are preoccupied at times either with other people other connections or the situations or they're just like a freaking workaholic that they come and go and they're busy trying to figure out how to build or plan for their future now remember i said there Okay, because it's what they have in mind for their future, not your future or your future together. Okay, so I feel like they've, even if they haven't been clear about their intentions, you've caught on to that as well. Okay, let's not mince words. I do feel that that's the type of energy that you have dealt with. This is a little bit like, you know, flighty, flaky. They're all in it one moment. 
they get cold feet, they're out, they like ghosts, they disappear, they fall off the face of the earth. If this is like an internet friendship connection or whatever, um, I do feel like they, it, it feels like this type of energy. It's like they're constantly leaving you in this, here I am waiting for you as always. Why do I always have to be the one to wait for you? Why do I always have to be the one that reaches out? And if I decide to not reach out, I will stand here holding one freaking wand forever, uh, feeling as though you cannot move on or move forward or make any real plans or decisions with your life because I feel like you're constantly waiting on them. Pisces, no. I feel like slapping someone's hand right now with that energy because I feel as though, Pisces, if you haven't realized it yet or you haven't heard it yet, you deserve better. You're worth more. You know it. Admitting it to yourself would mean you wouldn't be settling for this flaky ass, right? <laughs> And so tell me more about the devil and the knight of wands. <laughs> uh, tell me more about the devil and the knight of wands, eight of cups. This is the type of energy, like I said, comes and goes, takes off, disappears. They're busy trying to find their own path in their own life. Meanwhile, you're trying to hang on to them every chance that you can to keep them with you, to make certain plans written in stone, set in motion, move forward on your next level of where you want to take this relationship. But I feel like they are on their own path. And I also feel that spirit is saying, Maybe it's time you go and seek your own path. You seek your own enlightenment. You seek your own clarity. You create the life that you want. Because for some of you, not all of you, does not include that devil energy. And I say some, not because I, I can see a future with this devil energy, but because maybe you are involved with the Capricorn that's still trying to get it together, right? And so you may take a break from this connection or this relationship while you figure out what it is that you truly want and they come back finally deciding okay I've wasted enough time I feel like they may even come back with apologies while others of you come to the realization that <laughs> another eight you come to the realization that it's not your job to tame the beast it's not your job to get them and I'm I'm seeing as though you're trying to create the most comfortable life for them so that they never have to leave or that they never seek comfort elsewhere or in the arms of someone else you want to be the end-all be-all for this person but that's exactly why they come and go because they know you're not going anywhere they know that you will provide them with everything that they could possibly ever want, need, desire. I feel like some of you Pisces have lost your sense of self, has lost your own identity trying to hang on to this relationship where your identity has now been absorbed by trying to make this relationship work yeah I feel like you you've given them so much love and attention and affection and you know so much time and energy and even not just like in physical form but emotionally and spiritually and in terms of time right how long have you been daydreaming about a future with this person? How long have you already sat there and imagined plans of commitment, of marriage, of children, of family, of blending families, purchasing a home, 
a real sense of commitment from this person. Four of Cups. Probably how you're feeling after what I just said. But I also feel that you have been in this energy recently because the more you give, the more they take and you start to feel depleted and you start to, I mean, look at this person sitting there, this arms crossed, cups right in front of them and can't even see them because they've realized all I want is one and I give and give and give. But it's momentary. Pisces, I feel like you're asking for the same, if not more or better. Will this person give Pisces reciprocal energy? The world card. <laughs> and I was feeling, and I was going to say it. I feel like they're making a fool out of you. So when I ask, will they give you what it is that you want? Nine of Cups energy. Some of you, what you want is happiness, wish fulfillment, new opportunity. Knowing that all the work you've put into this connection will eventually pay out in marriage and long-term commitment. You've got some majors here. There is this clear opportunity to allow things to level up, to embark on a new journey. But again, that Eight of Cups is really telling me some of you need to walk away and stop giving so much and put yourself in a, in a position to receive from them, for them to realize what they're missing out on. And if they don't realize that, it is not your job to let them know what they're missing out on. They just got to miss out. And you got to be ready like this fool for the next one, for the next chapter, the next relationship, for the right person that is a huge up level, for the next person that will immediately know you're it. You're it. I don't need to look anywhere else. And I feel like this next person will let you forget it. They will value you. They will appreciate you. They will love you. They will care for you. Others of you, yes, that partner will come around. And if they don't know that the next person will absolutely be best. King of Earth, King of Pentacles, which is Capricorn energy. Page of Water, duplicate card, okay. That's Page of Cups, Page of Earth, and Three of Air, right? Getting a mixed bag of messages here, and these this deck also says it. Okay, King of Earth, which is King of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, um, which is the Devil card energy here, but generous, professional, responsible, practical a successful time confidently accept opportunities you're offered having the Midas touch especially when it comes to transformation and things unfolding moving on to the next chapter of your life right so page of cups is the duplicate sorry i have the hiccups the duplicate card here I'm so sorry. <laughs> I have the hiccups. It's late. I really should get to bed. Page of water, which is the page of cups. This is someone who's intuitive, sensitive, artistic, friendly. This could also be you being a Pisces water sign. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase and heightened psychic abilities. I, again, I do feel like this is a new chapter, a new phase in your life. 
Page of Earth is part of the court cards with the King of Earth, right? So Page of Pentacles here, which is scholarly, dependable, patient, successful. Good news about financial matters, wanting to do something more challenging, a new area of study. So if you've just recently graduated from one program, you're about to embark on another. Maybe you got your associates, you're going for your bachelor's. Maybe you got your bachelor's, you're going for your master's, or you're going to graduate school, or you're getting credentials in something. Uh, three of air. Great sadness. Take time to heal the need to forgive yourself or others. Okay, so again, mixed bag like the other ones where some of you will end up with walking away from this person and this person comes back doing better, being better, and finally meeting you at your level. While others of you will realize it's their loss, not yours. And someone better comes along. At any rate, I do feel like that disconnect, the need to detach from them, from an outcome, from a relationship or situationship, is important in order to move forward so you have i'm going to pull one more healing healed healer birthday and holiday and travel holiday and travel um you know some of you may consider travel like going on a vacation as a holiday i know i've heard it spoken in that way um it does it does give me that energy of an important trip or uh, destination or vacation you may be taking. Uh, let's see. Healing Healed Healer. Who just got this? I think maybe Capricorn just got this. So again, if you are dealing with a Capricorn, they also got this energy or it could have been Taurus. Healing energy surrounds you and this situation. I do feel that you can lean on your spirit guides, guardian angels moving forward, asking for healing, asking for clarity, asking for, you know, the right people to be there with you and those that are not meant for you, you've got to be ready to release them. The card of birthday, I know your birthday passed because you are Pisces. So uh, either you are planning a big milestone birthday for next year or someone's birthday is up and coming that you are planning something for them or you go to a birthday party, birthday festivities, you are I'm even hearing some of you may be celebrating you know your pet's birthday where you have a little like uh, a little pet birthday party it, it, I'm seeing that a significant birthday holds the answers to your questions what I also heard is that perhaps at a recent birthday gathering party event or your most recent birthday or your partner's most recent birthday there was something that happened that did I'm hearing it kind of rubbed you the wrong way and you haven't been able to let it go you haven't gotten the clarity you also did not confront your partner about it to get the clarity and so maybe it was an interaction with someone else maybe it was you know something they said that just you have never been able to put it behind you I feel like the more you sit on that, the more uncomfortable that this connection is really making you feel, making you wonder why are you still here, right? I also feel that you may be with someone whose birthday is coming up or you are about to celebrate something for their birthday. They may make plans for their birthday without you is what I'm hearing as well. So that is important for some of you. So holiday and travel, clearly some of you are planning a trip, are planning to go on holiday, maybe over a holiday, like a holiday weekend. Um, we just had Memorial, but maybe, you know, as this is uh, Father's Day weekend, uh, happy Father's Day to those that celebrate. Um, you know, I, I feel it could be like a weekend getaway. Um, what's the next holiday? We've got Father's Day and I don't know international holidays, but in the U.S. we've got Labor Days and then Halloween and Thanksgiving. So maybe you're planning to travel over the holidays to meet family, to bring families together. So the answer you're looking for can be found during a vacation, retreat, or a holiday getaway, which I did kind of say, you know, some of you may be wanting to get away like on a spiritual retreat or, you know, go towards your own spiritual enlightenment if you are dealing with a Capricorn 
Capricorn that came in heavily for them as well, going on a spiritual retreat or journey. The card of travel, an upcoming trip, proves to be life-changing in positive ways. So some of you like Capricorn, so similar energies, even if you, you're not dealing with a Capricorn, you may have that in your chart, or I just feel like the collective is all kind of going through the same thing right now, where you may be seeking... Um, trips or vacations or specific destinations that bring about a sense of spiritual healing and clarity and enlightenment. So that is coming up for you. That is your reading, Pisces. I know it's a bit of a mixed bag, but I definitely feel that it's time for you to really honor yourself, love yourself. And I'm hearing demand the re respect that you deserve, need, require. I do feel that you have been through some disappointing, disappointingly disrespectful is how I'm hearing it. It's disappointing and disrespectful uh, situations. I heard the word altercations. I also feel some of you expected this person to defend you or to have your back and you discovered that they were not there for you the way you anticipated. I feel like you not only need, but you require a partner that is really going to stick by you through thick and thin no matter what. And you're starting to realize that this person isn't all in the way you are. So Pisces, I wish you all the best. I wish for you the love, the clarity, the courage, and the strength that you need to get through a, a trying time for some of you. I do feel that some of you are ready to just say to hell with this. I'm out of here. And you really just embark on your own journey to create the life that you want for yourself. And more power to you, Pisces. I am sending you guys so much love. Remember the sign with the most likes and the sign with the most views gets a bonus live reading. Uh, make sure your notifications are turned on so you know when I upload and when I go live. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Your playlist is here and whatever the reading I have for you. And I cannot wait to see what's next for you. Personal readings in the link in the description box below. Take care. Bye.